Guys, it is time for my 5K Q&A. Hello, hello, hello. This is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley D Reactions and today I'm going to be finally doing my 5K Q&A and I also will be announcing the giveaway winner at the end of the video. Um, but yes. Um, so I asked you guys if you wanted to enter the giveaway to ask me a question. So I've compiled all the questions. I've gotten rid of like duplicates and I'm just going to run through all of them. I'm going to do this rapid pace. I'm not going to sit there. They're not going to be long answers. Um, but yeah, I'm going to breeze through them. There's like 45 questions, I think. Well, 42, but like breakdown, but I'm going to answer all of them. And yeah, I'm really excited and let's go ahead and do this. So let's just go ahead and we're going to jump into section one. I'm probably going to stumble over my words, but it is what it is. I'm going to just kind of patch this together real quick and let's do this. So number one, how old are you? I am currently 26 years old. I will be turning 27 this year. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I know I'm so old. I hate my life, um, but it is what it is. And you can't really control when you were born. So, um, how tall are you? I am 172 centimeters tall, I, which is 5, 7, and 3 quarters. I generally round up to 5, 8. What is your most embarrassing moment? Um, I don't really know that I have a really embarrassing moment. There's nothing that really sticks out in my mind. Um, I'm sure that I have plenty, but I can't really think of them. What is your birthday? My birthday is June 3rd. What is your favorite color? So technically it's not a color, but I like black the most. But if you go with actual color color, um, I, my favorite color is purple. What is your favorite food? I absolutely love a good cheeseburger. What is my favorite TV show? So my favorite TV show probably would be Doctor Who. Um, I love, love Doctor Who, but there's a lot of TV that I love, including like Supernatural and stuff like that. Are you a chocolate or a vanilla person? So I'm actually extremely picky when it comes to chocolate. So I am generally a vanilla person. I will always eat something that's vanilla flavored, but not everything that's chocolate flavored. Why are you so nice? Um, I don't know how nice I am. Um, I guess I'm kind of nice, but I don't know why. I guess my parents raised me well. Um, why are you so pretty? I do not think I'm pretty at all. I am not pretty. I am, I'm a little hobbit. Um, I'm a hobbit pretty much. Um, <laughs> Okay, so now we are moving on to section number two, which are some basic K-pop likes, kind of like the basic stuff and how I got into everything. So let's just go ahead and let's do this. What is your first K-pop song? So the first K-pop song that I ever listened to with full knowledge that I was listening to K-pop was Infinite's Bad. What got you into K-pop? So I got into K-pop because of Infinite Bad, which was sent to me, well not sent to me, but I saw it because of Sanastoria. It's her fault that I'm sucked in like this. <gasps> what made you interested in K-pop? So it was actually a GIF that I saw in that very first moment and I was like, what is this? I need to know. Um, what was your first impression of K-pop? My first impression was, wow, this is actually really high quality. What was your first K-pop album? So the very first K-pop album that I ever owned was Big Bang's Made compilation. So it was the compilation of um, the singles that they, the, the eight single tracks that they'd released in groups of four, um, groups of two. Um, and yeah, that was the first thing that I ever got. Um, who was your first bias in K-pop? Kim Namjoon, yep. Namjoon, rap monster, first bias, yeah. What inspired you to start YouTube? I actually started YouTube over on BookTube about uh, essentially two years ago, um, cause now we're at my one year mark now. Um, but yeah, I started it mainly because I was just like, hey, I can do this too, and that's why I started it. Then I switched over to K-pop YouTube about a year ago. What is your everyday song playlist? So I don't have an everyday song playlist. I usually, what I usually do is I have a listen by groups. Um, so I'll make playlists for all my favorite groups and then I'll just put those on on random. So whatever group I'm feeling like listening to that day, I will just throw on. So like right now I've been listening to a lot of BAP since I just went to their concert and I'm going to their other concert soon. 
what is your UV group? So my UV group is GOT7 slash BTS. Um, GOT7 kind of has the edge on them, mainly because I've met them a few times and I absolutely love the guys. Um, and I kind of go a little bit extra with GOT7, but BTS is really, really extremely like, I don't even know, like they, they're, they're like right there with them. So what is, who's your UB? And like I mentioned before, my first um, bias was Kim Nam Joon and Kim Nam Joon is also my ultimate bias. I absolutely love him. Um, what, who is my bias wrecker right now? Um, so, I mean, it depends on what group, but I mean, as far as like ultimate, ultimate bias wrecker, um, it's, <sighs> it's probably Kim Taehyung because yo, V messes me up real bad. Like y'all can't send me stuff of V without like me having like a mental breakdown. Same for Hasuk. Like they just, they, they kind of mess me up in ways that I really don't appreciate. <laughs> what do I do when I first decide to stand a group? Um, so I don't really decide to stand a group. I just usually find that all of a sudden I am standing a group. I think it's usually just like a slow dive for me. I'll start watching some videos and then I'll be watching more videos. And then all of a sudden I realize that I'm watching videos constantly and I'm trying to buy all the merch. And yeah, there's really only a few groups, a few groups that I am like on like that really high, like, super stan level um like hardcore only a few there's a bunch of groups that i really do love though that i will buy what are my top three dramas okay so i really 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 love k dramas um i've been watching them way too much and there's still a lot that i haven't seen um but so far my favorites let's just stick with ones that have come out within the last year um so right now i absolutely adore i adored goblin i adored weightlifting fairy and i also really love shopping king louis those are some of my absolute favorites. As you can kind of tell, I like things that are kind of lighter, but that doesn't mean that they have to be entirely light because Goblin is certainly not entirely light, but I do like humor mixed in with my dramas generally. Okay, so on to section number three. This is the longest section, but I should be able to breeze through this pretty quickly. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. So the first question is gonna be, have you ever wished you could redo your high touch photo op because you couldn't do what you wanted the first time around? Okay, so I've done high touch and photo op a bunch of times with GOT7. I've done high touch with B2B and I've now officially done high touch and photo op with BAP. And out of all of the experiences that I've had, the only ones that I really wanted to do were my time with BAP. And that's because I was so rushed because of Powerhouse that it just didn't it didn't go and then the photo op was just messy with him chen and it was just ah i just wish that i could get a chance to redo that um i will get a chance to redo the high touch but i won't be able to redo the photo op until next time i get a chance to see them if i'm lucky um but yeah that's the only thing i wish i could redo because it just it just wasn't it wasn't as great as my other experiences that i've had um with other groups so um, so, Mary Kiss Kill with Namjoon, Bam, and Taehyung. This is murder, this is murder, this is murder. I hate this so much. Why would you do this to me? So, okay, so real quick. So, I would marry... Oh, God. So, I'd have to marry Namjoon. I'd have to kiss Bam because, oh my gosh, have you seen Bam's lips? lips? And, oh my gosh, I don't want to kill Tay, but I'd have to kill Tay. I think I'd have to kill tight. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Okay, so my favorite song from BTS. So my favorite song from BTS, I really, really love a lot, but my favorite song is Bipse. Um, will you blog your BAP concert experience? So in case you do not know, I have actually, um, I did put up both a vlog and an experience video for the Atlanta stuff, and I will also be doing the same for the Dallas stop. I don't know if they'll be separated out like it was this time. Depends on how much go is going on. I just don't want to make the videos too long. That's why I split them up. Um, next, would you rather spend one day with BAP or four hours with my ultimate bias, who would be Namjoon? So um, a whole day with BAP or a little, or just four hours with Namjoon. And this is really, really tough because I absolutely adore all of BAP. Um, but my Korean is kind of terrible and Namjoon speaks English. So I think I would have to go with the four hours with Namjoon because I feel like 
I, I think I might get a little bit more out of it with Namjoon. Um, and yeah, so I think I'd go with Namjoon in that case. <laughs> um, so for my potential dance cover, are you going to dress up like the members? So I am not doing the dance cover because I did not hit 6K. Um, I'm actually, I'm getting, I'm really close to 6K, but I didn't, I needed to hit it by a couple of days ago. So since that didn't happen, I am not going to be doing the dance cover. I am sorry, but yes, I would have dressed up as, as closely as I could to one of them. Um, but unfortunately that is not going to happen. Um, so what is your favorite got seven non-title track so my favorite was prove it but i think sign is my new favorite um between prove it and sign those are like ultimate holy grail kind of songs for me um what is your what's a k-pop song that you would recommend to listen to um i mean there's a lot there's so many it really depends on i wouldn't just blanket recommend a song to just anybody it really depends on who the person is and what sort of taste they like because that's really going to determine k-pop is so broad and there's so many different genres that they kind of that they hit that just saying that one song would be great for everybody is so not true and yeah if you tell me what kind of genre you like, then I might try to be able to make a recommendation. If you could have any artist for a day, who would you be? If I, I, if I could be any artist for a day, who would I be? Um, I don't know if I would want to be any one artist. Um, I don't know. I don't think I would want to be an artist. Um, yeah, I don't think I would. <laughs> your child wants to be a k-pop star what would you do um so first off my child would never end up being a k-pop star um because i am black and it is very very difficult that would be very difficult for them to become a k-pop star because the likelihood of me marrying somebody who is of asian descent that might give them the edge to even potentially be in the considering for that um is kind of slim because i don't date um but yeah i mean if they wanted to if i did have a kid that was in a position where they were offered the opportunity to be to become a trainee if that's something that they wanted to do um i would just let them know that things were going to be rough and that i might not always be able to support them in the way that they need but that i would always love them and that yeah that if that's something that they would want to do and that they're ready for all of the things that come along with it. Yeah, I would let them do it. Um, just as long as they know that it's not going to be easy. <laughs> um, so, what do you think of older K-pop groups becoming more popular than the new groups? I don't think that that's actually happening. Um, I know that there's older groups that are coming back and they're doing great and they're doing amazing. And yes, they are overshadowing some of like some of like the new goo groups but i mean i don't really they're not the thing with the older groups is that they are they operate in a different kind of level where they're coming back and they are um they're not striving to be the top of the charts like some of the other groups now they're coming back they're hitting targets they're meeting their expectations that they want to so i think it's kind of it's kind of a different ball game almost um your top five groups were ice cream flavors. What would they be? I'm gonna prove. I'm gonna just not answer this because I'm not a big ice cream person. Um, I will eat vanilla ice cream. I will eat cookies and cream, which is pretty much just vanilla with cookies. And I will, if I'm feeling really, really dangerous, I'll have some strawberry ice cream. But I even really don't like that much. Um, so yeah, I don't really like ice cream that much in general. I don't like milk really. Milk based milk things. Um, so what's your opinion on Mama Moo's scandal with the blackface at their concert? So this was posted like literally right when this happened and yeah. So my thoughts on this is it's kind of trash and it's terrible and from what I've heard is this isn't the first kind of thing like that that's happened. Um, and yeah, it's kind of, it's upsetting. Um, and just, it's, it's a mess. But as I, the thing is, I can't know them to know what they're thinking, what they feel about it. Um, we just know what was done and it, it doesn't quite sit right for me. 
but um, I also don't know what they were thinking and how much of it was their decision and how much of it was decisions of their companies and how much they were just like, okay, we'll do it. And I, I don't know. I don't know details. I don't know details. But it doesn't sit perfect. It doesn't sit well with me. Um, what's your opinion on co-ed groups like CARD? In case you didn't know, I'm going to be trying to go to CARD in Houston. I quite like the idea of a co-ed group. It reminds me of my days with like S Club 7. And <laughs> yeah, um, I like, I like co-ed groups. Um, I mean, I don't want everything to all of a sudden just become co-ed groups. Um, but having card and maybe a couple other groups that are co-ed would be kind of nice just because it's different and it brings a different dynamic to the stage which also brings different sort of vocals that you get because you get to have um it's it's more like it, it reminds me a little bit more of music over here a little bit where you have guys and girls singing versus just being a female song or just being a male song it's just that variation of like having a featured artist kind of thing and it, I, I like it um, what do you think about idols going to the army? Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to this. Um, I mean, um, they have to go to the army if they are Korean and they're male. Those are the rules. They should go. Um, I really, I mean, I, that's just the way that it is. Um, it sucks that there's a conscription, but I mean, I don't think that it sucks just for just idols. I think it sucks for everybody. Um, but that is what it is and that's the state of the world that especially where they live and how like foreign policy is currently over there and yeah it is what it is they have to serve <laughs> um what's your favorite ship in all of k-pop namjoon i love namjoon and jin they're wonderful um and yes that doubles as my favorite ship in bts um, what is my favorite ship in EXO? I could not tell you. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I love a few of the members of EXO and I've been getting more into EXO. Um, I haven't been reacting as much, but I've been listening and watching more stuff with EXO, but I don't have like an EXO, um, ship because I tend to be watching a lot more of like individual member stuff. So, I'm partial to a few members and yeah. Um, so when do you think Blackpink will escape from YG Dungeon and when do you think their comeback will be? Um, so I hope that they escape soon. I know that they were, they were supposed to be continue on. We're square three. Where is square three? Um, I mean, I'm guessing that we're not, I've heard some stuff about Icon coming back, which will probably be in May. Um, so I guess we're hoping for something maybe in June, July, hopefully soon, hopefully soon. It'd be nice if we got a little bit more from Blackpink. I love them. Um, who is your ultimate bias of all 94 biases and bias wreckers? Oof, that's hard, but it's not hard because my ultimate bias of all times, like I mentioned, is Namjoon, who's a 94 liner. So Namjoon wins it all. He wins it all. When you when you say 94 liner and you have Namjoon around, it's he's always gonna win for me. He's he he makes me happy and I love him and yeah. Um so what in genre do you enjoy listening to most when it comes to K-pop? And are you a rapper, vocal, or dance bias person? Um so I prefer I love most R and B. Um but I'm also quite partial to hip hop as well. But R and B is really what makes my heart sing. Um, so yeah, this is why Prove It and Sign are tops for me. Um, but if I'm a rapper, vocal, or dance bias person, um, I really I think I oh I, I think I tend to be more rapper biased, followed by dance bias and then vocal. But I really don't know. I'm not. It's it's always different. Um, it is always different. Um, I really can't say because if I think of all my biases, I think more of them tend to be rappers, um, but I also really love dance line guys, so, but I think, I think they tend to be rappers, most of them, but yeah. So yeah, those are all of the questions that you guys had for me. I hope I was able to cut this down short enough and um, so I'm going to put who won the giveaway here. I'm going to put this up and you are going to have 48 hours 
to get in contact with me. So 48 hours after this video goes up, if I do not hear from you, I am going to be contacting somebody else. I'm going to actually contact somebody on the list. Um, and yeah, if I don't hear from you, then I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, we're, we just hit that 5k. I'm actually almost at 6k, which is, is so exciting for me. Um, and yeah, if you guys like this video, please make sure that you like it. And if you'd like to see more reactions from me in the future, make sure that you subscribe. I'm out.